Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. Hey, this week we are down in Southern Illinois around Carlisle and we're doing some snow goose hunting and with our good friend Matt from Willow yep. Creek Outfitters. Yep. Hey Matt, let's talk a little bit about what you have going here. You know, hey, how old are you now? Oh, I'm 28. 28, pup. Yep. 28 yep. and you're farming, you're pouring concrete and you're running a guide business. You're not letting any grass grow underneath your feet. No. So let's talk a little bit about snow goose hunting. Um, between the guides, between the pits, between the side-by-side -side rides, between getting here in the morning, we got it all lit up. Um, we take care of all that stuff. We try to control everything outside of the hunt that we can control to make it perfect and the, the best experience that you can have. So we got a lot of birds in the area. We got some uh, good weather changes coming up here. So when you're in a pit blind, you're able to cook, you're able to basically communicate back and forth with a number of people, you know, we're telling good stories. It's, it's really a lot different than it is it when is, you're just sitting in a yeah. field. Um, it's, it's a good way for, for a group of friends to get together, uh, family to get together from all over the place. Everybody comes in, gets together every year. And, and you were talking before, basically right now you're running three different pits. Mm -hmm. And basically throughout the course of the season, they pretty much average out. There's not like one yeah. pit that's better yeah. than the other. We specifically set our spots, usually along the river line. Um, we like to keep them where we're going to traffic birds as much as we possibly can. Well, that's awesome. Yep. Hey, man, yep. I'll tell you what, Thanks. I'm looking forward to the next couple days. You guys, hang on to your heinies like I always say. No matter what happens, we're going to have a great couple days and enjoy this awesome weather and see a bunch of snow geese. <laughs> Watch me sway, darkness falls, and we all pray, hoping for the light of day. Down to the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man. Down to the river, down to the river. Cover up, cover up, cover up. He did say that. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Show a bunch more right there. Kill him, right there. Kill him, right there. Looks like all specs, guys, but there is a few snow geese that would get them to bust out of there. Right over top of them. Right there. Right up front. Kill these two, right here. Oh, coming back around. Here he comes.
Hey, I'll tell you what, today wasn't the most productive day as far as killing birds, but boy, I'll tell you, we had a lot of fun. And that's what these hunts are really about, you know? It's about all the stories, but it's about the camaraderie. And you know what, hunting's hunting. The guys did as everything they could possibly do. But you know, weather is a huge factor in any kind of hunting, but especially when it comes to hunting snow geese. No wind today at all. Had a lot of birds come and take a look at us but they just would not commit. But hey, the great part is we got another two days to hunt and we've got some weather that's hopefully gonna come in and change the scenario. Hey, you guys hang on to your heinies. We got a lot more to come. Kent Anderson here with Warrior Boats and I'm excited to tell you about the 2024 Warrior Cash Program. You're gonna find out that we are committed to you, the tournament angler, and it will pay to fish out of a Warrior Boat in 2024. With tier one events, you're gonna take home a $7,500 check if you win out of a Warrior Boat. Tier two event, take home $5,000. In tier three events, you're gonna take home $2,500. Go to warriorboatsinc.com, drop down the owner's tab, go to Warrior Cash, and find out all the details there. Let there be geese. Day number two here in Southern Illinois. Let me tell you, this is one of my favorite things to do. It's a great way to break up the ice season, even if it is a short ice season like we're having this year. Today, again, not a lot of wind. We got a little bit of cloud cover, which will help out somewhat, no matter what happens. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. So you guys, hang on to your heinies. We got a lot more to come. Yeah, this is more important, so just let's not spill this. One hit, one hit, here he comes. Nice shot. Well, that was fun. Nice job, guys. This is fun. Hey Todd, let's talk a little bit about these outings. You know, we do a lot of stuff with Drexel. You guys are a partner of the show. We have a lot of fun. And this week we're down in Southern Illinois and you got some special guests here. Let's kind of talk about what they do for you guys. Well, this is a long story, but we got to make it short. So John Stoker has <laughs> been a customer of Victory Homes probably longer than 20, 20 plus years when I started. And, and you guys are doing over 60 homes a year, huh? Yes, sir. That's crazy. 20 plus years we've been knocking it out of the park and John's just been you can't say enough about what they brought to our, our little town of Campbellsport and really 
put Drexel on the map going forward and stuff like that, helping us come to those towns. Hey, John, you tell me on Victory Homes, what makes you guys so much different than uh, other builders in your area? I mean, to be doing 60 yeah. houses a year, that's that's phenomenal. Are, You're doing something special. We are a little bit unique because we're, some people want to call us a production builder, but every single house we build is a custom home. Okay. And uh, we, we do not build the same house twice. We have models, but our customers typically do not build a model. They, they make changes to it. So there's not really a lot of custom builder, or, custom builders in southeastern Wisconsin that build more than 15 or 20 houses and we're doing 60. Absolutely phenomenal uh, team player and a great, great trade partner. Hey, that's what it's all about. Life is all about working hard and playing hard. Definitely, like every week, I want to thank all of our military men and women for the great service they have given this country and continue to give this country, along with all of our firefighters and our paramedics, and no doubt all of our law enforcement agents. Hey, it, it is a great day to be live, and the best part is we're going to see you guys and gals again next week, and thanks for joining us. I'll come back off go down there and you can kind of chain gang it down now. Go down. God, Rick's yelling at me already. <laughs> I know, it's